Hey, you two, it's your boy Domination. I'm back again. The all the place, 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 Fake man rise down. Real women rise up. Fake women rise down. Breath the word, preach and preach on. All right? All right. And to today's topic we're going to talk about today is drama. I mean, I mean, not drama, but relationship dramas. Ask me this one typical Ask me a simple, ask me, I want to ask any other questions for people. Why do you think that people like relationship dramas why they like drama you know how people say you know uh uh uh, uh drama say for your mama you know it's like that i don't know why people enter drama people like to fight fight people like to argue people like to fuss people like to you know it, drama is a whole lot of things that you you would think that people enter drama you know, it's all about the 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 cu- a custody battle, a financial financial uh a status, all that stuff. Who can have the house? Who can have the car? Who can have the kids? It's it's something. That's relish, uh, a relationship drama, and and that's what it is they putting on TV nowadays. But have you noticed it though? Have you really noticed it? It's like that in the black community, but in the white community, they don't do stuff like that. They don't do stuff like that. Why is that? Why is that? No wonder our inter, uh, no wonder our, uh, our relationship is disarray because we like drama. I I show as hell don't because you you want you want um peace pe- peace and peace and peace and love and and, and quietity. See, white guys can control their women. Black men can't control their women. And I know some black men get mad at me for saying this, but it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. Other race of men control their women except black men. He can't control his women because he's been told that he's not a man. He's been told all his life that all he got to do is look around, look around his women having babies because they let the black, they let his, they let his women run the community, the backbone. If they got so much backbones, then why is it that there's why there's so many black women having babies by themselves and all alone and not having nobody? And it's not a bash black women because I know there's other race of women, too. But you don't hear about that. You don't hear when when the last time you ever hear about a white woman have a have a baby unless if she's a white girl mess with a, a, a mess with a black man. And especially his his seeds with with a black man, and chances are, man, she gonna be considered as a black woman, or is she gonna is she gonna find herself angry, and and resentful of resentment of to men towards men because her bad experience are, and that's why I, you see a lot of our women doing stuff like that. That that's why men's got to be careful when you lay down on a woman, because chances are. You're gonna create a, a multiplication of of rate of race, um, a multiple capable of of not multiple capable of dis, disarray of 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 of, of criminals, uh, um, bread, breathing 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 out of crumb criminals element of the children on the kids on the system, and that's what I'm trying to get at. You have to be really careful because I know I am. I have to be careful because in our community. We've been warned how many once, once or twice, or maybe a hundred years, a lot more, and we did not listen. We think everything is a joke. Black men should have fixed that stuff a long time ago. And any man in particular, even women, even black women. But you see, they put these shows like, like bullshit love of hip hop, and they think that's relationships. No, it's not. All it is is nothing but uh, scandalous. Uh, uh, di- this, this. Disarray. That all it is is scandal disarray, and so is uh the game. I don't know why they put something like that. It's we're c- confused about the certain roles you uh, uh you roll attempt as a role in life as a man as a woman, 
And but you but have you noticed it? It never been like that from other races. No, it won't. They won't put those images out. That it, they don't want to make their people look like they, they, they make it look like they they dis. How can I say they disgrace in this of their culture, of their heritage, of their people? They ain't gonna do that. Whites ain't going for that. Latinos ain't going for it. Asian people ain't going for it. No other race ain't going for that. That's why you see uh, Mexican men, they handle their business. I, I, you I, you got to give them that. But there's, I understand that they might say there's some un, unbeated ass fathers out there. Yeah, it is. Even white males. White males handle their business. White males. White males has always been the road because who run the white community? White males. And you gotta give it that they've been put, they've been putting it on they've been putting they be putting on the uh, on the dirt line for years and they're gonna keep doing that. Yeah, unless he working all the time, or he always going to sex trips or fucking the secretary. See, white guys do shit like that. They do shit like that. But yet, yeah, but there but there are white guys out there that handle their business and handle that home. Asian men, Asian men handle their business. You know, because Asian men always been seen as that they the they the they destructed they destructed of 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 they destructed the of force in this they destructed a force in this they struck in the force of their people and it's always been like that that's Asian culture all the way. Middle East, Middle East men, Middle East always be 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 in front. They got to be in front and line the center of their community. And Native American men, they 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 call out the nature of spirits of their people, but black men, not a chance. He don't even have a voice. Why? Because he's been seen as example. Look at that Trayvon Martin situation. If you don't believe me, why is it that? But see, nobody wants to address the real problem. Not even Oprah. Not even Steve, uh, Steve Harvey, not even Tyler Perry. They're not going to address that real problem. They make it seem like it's just black men. See, they only talk about one side of an argument, but they never talk about both sides from the woman's argue, but took the fall on that one. They never talk about that. And it pissed me off when they put that kind of image and, and, and they wonder why relationships are dis, of dis, of failure of the communicate for, between men and women. They keep on with this stuff. It's going to be some problems. And, yeah, we're going to pay for this shit. I'm telling you right now. I see it every day in my in my community. You can't raise the whole entire fucking community. Black women know this. They better get them sorry ass men to do something because they're the ones getting their, they ass knocked the hell up. How many times we heard too many stories about men can't find a woman. And it's not just black men, but any typical men. How many times we hear stories? How many times we hear stories that women, black women, are the only ones that always being betrayed? They they like of never of and no they they have no love ability to support their own men and love for them. Oh, uh, I can't find a man. I can't find a man. You know, I'm I'm educated. I'm I'm a single mother, and and I got the college degree, educated degree. You hear that all the time. You hear that all the time. You hear it. You hear it. You hear it. But they are the ones that chose these kind of men and not and sitting around not doing that. My sister just like this. My other sister just like this. I love them, but it's the truth. My my uncle, but the guy, the brother who got it together, he's seen as being a threat. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Come on, explain this to me. Explain this to me, black man. Why is that, black man? Why is it that when a brother do go to school, school and, and travel and he don't think like a typical black man, the one you heard on TV, if he ain't no thug, no pansacker, no durag, they look at that, something is wrong with that. See, this is what I'm talking about. And he, especially he ain't no house nigga, a certain reference, an unreference, a field nigga, and and and. and a different certain reference of 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 the hybrid Negro that like to play both sides and not go on each side of the issue. Why is that? Why is that, sisters? Why is that? See, we don't want to talk about it. This is why that everybody can be happy for a long time, but our people, and it's like the betrayed. 
because long she got a a a, a bad bad a bad a, 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 a mannerism of her mouth, and a black man can't control that. Cause he gonna be on domestic abuse, on domestic violence, on on the court of law, on the court of judge of law. I, I know what I'm exactly what I'm talking about. Nobody wants to deal with that, and some are gonna mess around and get shot or getting hurt behind that. And I'm tell you something, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I think it's odd to me, but our women scared to speak this out. Oh yeah, and as long as they do what they told, they 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 gonna keep their mouth shut and not saying nothing. Same thing, black men. Black men ain't gonna say much as long as he keep his mouth shut and not say much and keep it going. Everybody, but but you know what? We are laughing stock, not only to white race, Latinos, Asian, Middle East, everybody. But nobody, nobody ain't laughing. Uh, uh, nobody, nobody, nobody ain't, ain't ain't laughing with us. But la uh, us, we laughing with each other. But they laughing at us. And they not laughing with us with each other. You see what I'm getting at? This is why I'm better off being single. Because I tell you why. Because I'm not going to put up with it. That ain't that nothing to do with me that some of my women got in the problems they have now. I see this stuff ever since the, ever since the 90s. Better yet, in, in back in the early, late 80s. Late 80s. It wasn't. All, it was bad at that time, and then early nine in the year two thousand, and early two thousand. Now, I mean, year two thousand, early two thousand, and late two thousand. Now, that's what I'm trying to get at. It's been like that for years. There was a sister that signed Ali, warned black women, warned them, not only warned black women, warned black men. We're gonna fucking pay for this, and look what's happened. Look what's happening. We're paying for it. I'm sick and tired of seeing my women having babies by different different men. I get tired of that. But let a brother that don't have no kids, all of a sudden she spec him that he got to take care of the, uh, her kids. Uh, by, but, but she got a kid by another man, but he can't have his own kids with her. Something wrong with that. Something is wrong with that. Why is that? Why is that? But see, some are, come on, somebody need to an answer to me. Because this is a real issue that we don't want to discuss that out of discussing public. We don't want to talk about it. This is why I do not like talk about black black issues. Because we don't like hearing about it. We try to run away from it. We try to do everything we can because we don't want to be labeled. Look what's happening when nobody don't stand against with Obama. To stand with him. But if you stand against him, you're seen as being hater, or you don't know what you're talking about, or you just mad because he got some money. I know my people. I know them very well. I said I've been around and hang with understand the culture, and I grew up with that. I am so sick and tired of that. I, I get tired of not only hearing black women, but hearing black men saying the same damn thing. All oh, sisters want thugs. Then left they ass with the goddamn thugs if that's the case. Because as soon as the, the, the dog get out of the jail and try to get his life together, all of a sudden the woman don't want him anymore. Wow, that that that's, that seems trying to odd to me. Now she got the jerk that's sitting around. But once he once the, if the money don't come in, he he gonna move around and and start uh, uh, seeing the other women, and she gonna go back to the good man again. Cause they, they they claim that good man, oh he just too nice and too lame. How many times we hear stories like this? How many times we hear stories like that in the public? How many times? And I know women get tired of it, but women got to be the ones to change it because they got more power than us. Women don't choose me when I was in high school, so I can't complain about it. It just happens. But them same women, as soon as they, 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 get, they, they, they get their karma come in, now all of a sudden she want me to take care of her kid by another another by by a man that she had in previous relationships. I never met a white woman having babies by the same um, um, uh, uh, by, by, uh, I never met a white woman had a baby by 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 um I never met a white woman never I, I might be lying. But I never met a white woman have a baby with no man around. Never. I never heard from an Asian woman 
have a baby, uh, 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 a baby uh, by herself and no man around. I never heard a Middle East woman have a, a, a baby but no man around. Or any woman of typical of color, Latino woman. I never heard a Latino have a, 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 a having a baby, no man, no man around. Only thing I hear is my own women, my own women. We 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 hate our women, and our women hate us. This has been going on for a very long time, ever since the feminism movement. That mind, the mindset of the feminist mindset, and look what happened. We're paying for it, and that's. But like I said, I, when, when, when are we going to change this 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 main subject of the issue? But we ain't going to change it. We're basically saying, let, in other words, let people do what they want. That's what that's what they're saying. That's why they putting all this stuff on national TV. But yet, white women can get married. They can have husbands. They let the men run in the home. Other race of men let their men run in the home. But a black woman ain't going to let no ma- her man run in the home. And I'm sorry to say that, but that's why you see interracial dating going on. Ever since that chor- cherry, uh, that, 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 that che- Cheerios commercial, all of a sudden, people got mad over that. That Cheerio commercial. Because that mixed breed in a uh, 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 dark that mixed breed, that mixed breed of of a uh, white complexion or, or, or a black complexion girl with a white, uh, I mean, with a white mother and a black father. That's the most dumbest shit that I heard. They got mad over that commercial. That made me want to get a, 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 a box of Cheerios. I guarantee you, it's probably some racist ass, rent dick ass, ass white men and a bitter ass nation ass black bitches. I guarantee you they got mad over that because they show that. But I let it be a black woman with a white man. Nobody says a motherfucking word. Nobody said nothing. You won't hear that from black women and you damn sure won't hear that to white men. Why is that? Why is that? Come on, somebody answer me now. See, you know what? I, 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 I see what everybody is talking about. Because a lot of that, man, I'm telling you something. Oh, man, it, it pissed me off. It pissed me off. But but what you know what really bothers me the most? Why they always concerned about who black men is fucking with? Especially our women. But not only that, b- white guys. White guys always concerned about that. Because white guys still believe in this myth is he's a bigger, bigger hang as a horse than me. What I mean is that they believe that black men can got the biggest dick than any other race of men. There's a real reason why in slavery they chopping black men's penis off and put it to a glass fucking jar. There's a fucking real reason unless he don't control his damn urges of his fucking sperm. His sperm. If black man can't have, if he got a pro, if he can't know how to how to use the comp- properly to control into that, he got problems. He got problems that's coming his way. There's a real reason why they dressing black women in in, in, in the worst in clothing because she can't express her sexuality like a white woman could. There's a real reason for all this. Look at that that show Scandal and how it's betrayed. Now, I don't got a problem with a black woman with a white guy. Love is everywhere. If I feel like this. If you if you love somebody, be there for them. Just like a black man have a right to he love a, a other race of women, be be that be with that person. But what I do got a problem with is that they trying to seek what nobody else is happening and anybody else is happening. That's why people need to take the blame of their responsibility. And that goes to us as black men and sisters. Sister, y'all got to take the fall with as well as y'all right along with y'all men. Because if they can attack him, your man, they can attack you as well. And don't think for one minute it won't happen to you. Because it will. You better, you better wake up and, and smell the real coffee in the morning. Because I'm telling you right now. Because everything she's been taught and believed is based by lies from our own people and from other race of people, even from white men, everybody else. White guys are no different. They do the same damn thing that every other race of men, even black men. 
The only difference between a white man and a black man is because white guys own anything and black men doesn't. They make sure we don't own nothing. They make sure that. Because that's their fucking fear. Because it's going to stop the white rising to, the, to continue the black rising. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. That's what it's about. Some white guys don't care if brothers make it or not. They don't care. Or some will support it or or commend to you to do it. They know you can make something out of yourself. Some other brothers want other brothers. You got black men don't want to see each other making it. Because it's that crab in the bucket mentality right there. And this is why all the deaths that's going on. You got black women. I heard this all the time in my life. I hear it. I hear it a lot. I heard this a lot. I heard this a lot. All the time. All the time. I mean, because, man, I never understand it, but I see why. I see why there's a certain mindset that black women have, certain mind, mindset of, of, of other people have, even black men have, uh, even white men and white women. There's a certain mindset. The only difference between a black man, we the most dominant uh, for the gene of race, but we the most loved, we the most fierce men on the planet. We are. Even if we do these things or not. White guys has always portrayed it's that it's that shiny steel of armor, white knight like. They 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 the kind of guys that they can afford to get things they can afford because of things to white privilege. They can afford to get the things they can do. Yes, they've been doing that for years. And black women know this. They always say, I hear this from a black woman. She said that I, I I heard it from a show, and this is true. They always say white men take care of their home, black men does it. But in other words, I hear this one black woman, white white guys take care of his woman, but the black woman he I mean white how can I say this? Black woman said this I don't know how many times. They say white men take care of his women, black men. Want his woman to take care of him. And I know it's going to get offended. I'm telling you, black women think that mindset. I'm telling you right now. They think like that. They think like that. And some brothers got offended because they look at, wait a minute, that's not true. But you got to look at, there's some truth to that. Not all, but there's some truth to this. Because we say the same thing of about white women and, and black women. We say the same thing. We, we hear this from black, from white women. We always think that white women are 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 how can I say they submissive? They submissive that they, they they submit their men all the time, and they always be being being helpful, help helpful, helpful strand 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 the women. They always portray it as that when they, especially when they when you know when you hear about the Amber situation when when Sabrina was spoken out against that. Is that she put in herself situation. White women got mad when, when they heard Sabrina Williams said that. But let her be a black woman. They're going to say, look how she dress. And, and black women know it's the truth. Even, even white women know the truth about this. And they made Sabrina apologize for what she says. Even though she had her own opinion. I, I feel like, yeah, she went too far. But you got to understand, people got to tell, tell, people got to take self-responsibility. How they putting themselves out there. If you knew you're going to get drunk, you don't need to be drinking. It's, do I'm saying that women, women, women have, do I say that women uh, deserve getting raped by any man? No, it ain't right. Women have to be careful, though, especially white women and black women. They have to be careful who the men they're talking to, because nowadays, white guy or black man, they'll, any man, they'll do anything to get some sex. Even if they lie about it. That's why there's a difference between telling a woman what she wanted to hear and telling a woman that she need to hear. And women fall for this line. Tell tell uh, tell the woman what she want to hear. They heard this many times. We hear we hear this. Otherwise, women wouldn't have spam babies stranded by themselves and held by the uh, the by the state official of of benefit for them. That's why they wouldn't get cars and money and house if it ain't that. It'd be their mom and dad help them out or their mother help them out. Come on. I know what I'm talking about. This has been going on for a lot. 
This is what a welfare reform and, and all that stuff and food stamps and checks all about. Make sure the kids are being fed and hungry. If the man ain't doing the job, this, uh, the state people doing that to reinvent for the women. That's how it is, fellas. So, fellas, you got to be really careful about that. Chances are, make sure you handle your business. Because I'm telling you, your manhood has always been questioned by women. It always has. Women are going to question. But I don't hear too many men question uh, women about their womanhood. Women get pissed off if you question about their womanhood. Or they get mad. They get really upset about that. They'll call you sexist. They'll call you you anti. Um, they call you sexist and they call you misogynist. Misogynist means you hate women, but they need to tell the rapists and the and, and the men abusers and really that 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 that, 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 that dislike about females. But they won't say that to those guys. They say the guys who make sure they get everything, uh, and everything. Everything, everything planned all together, you know, especially the guys who who got it itself, everything together. And women hate that the guys who get everything together and the guys who ain't doing all that. They see that all the time. This is why to me, I'm not going to put up with no damn, no damn. Uh, uh, how could I say this? I'm not going to put up no, no damn uh, uh, um, drama. In the relationship, because I feel like every man, every woman deserve to be, find their best of their happiness, and I believe in that. As long as you don't let yourself or your friends or anybody else to let them mess up what you got for your ha happiness, and I and I, I hate when men do that, and I hate when women do that. I I really do. This is why that the, the domestic the violence have been 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 overrated up because of that, because men trying to go over over a spew to argue with to a woman you can't ar argue a woman you can't be a woman argument the only way you can be the woman argument is just leave just leave man just leave because women hate a man when he's leave because i'm telling you women are very very emotional they very emotional very emotional be very emotional uh being creatures but they can be a beautiful beautiful uh uh angel of dumbman of creatures ever around they the most sex they the most sexified women they are especially women they they more sexified than we are as men but where we messed up at man is that we we forgot our place in this world of being a man just like women got their place out there to be a woman and because of that i don't want to hear no more stuff about men have a hard time getting women well it's too damn bad you better learn because i have to learn so I don't want to hear nothing about women talking about they can't find a good man. You mean to tell me there's 150 men on this planet and, and, and out there in the in the whole damn planacy of the world? And you mean to tell me you can't pick just one? Oh, my, I forget. I learned from the real woman's perspective for best is my mother. My mother always say this. They want a certain type of man. And I know what she's talking about. It's the bad boy. It's the jerk. It's the nice guy. It's the nice guy, the quote-unquote good man. Women only want good men, good men with credit, good men with money. Oh, that's what the, the, good men with money. That's the only time they'll want a, marry, a guy. Nice guys represent that, the better males. Upper males is the dominant. It's the dominant of the masters of the sex. And bad boys got that. You got to give bad boys and jerks their credit, especially bad boys. They good at this, but the problem is they always in trouble, in and out in trouble, and never stay out of trouble when when they can't get the when they can't get the opportunity that's opportunity for them to make something out of themselves in life. And there's some bad boys who do want to change. They do want to be loved like every other man, just like man, just like good men deserve to be loved, and so is jerks. Women love jerks. I don't care what no women say. Women love jerks. They do just as much as they love the bad boy and the nice guy. Just like men love bad women and men love disrespectful, nasty women and they love the good women. But they take advantage of good women more than they'll appreciate the bad women and disrespectful, nasty women. Fellas, don't get mad because you know what I'm saying is true. We does this and I'm guilty of this as well because we we did this. Men have to understand from a woman's perspective, from your mother or your grandmother. You have three great women in your life, your mother, your grandmother, or your wife, or your sister sometimes. 
or your aunties and aunts. Because I'm telling you right there, they went through the same thing. They went through the same thing. We hear this all the time. And women better find a way. In 2013, they talking about they want a good man. I hope it good luck to you because y'all, 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 y'all need a lot of luck. Y'all need that. Hopefully they'll find somebody and they better hold on to it because there's not too many men come around in this this day and age. Because about their mistakes, same thing, men. If men, if you find a good woman, you better keep her around, man. I'm telling you right now because don't lose that. Don't lose that. I know if I got a woman, a good woman. I'll try my best not to lose it, but but we do, just like women would do losing a good man. We hear this all the time, and I'm getting tired of hearing it because I heard this all the time. By the time I was a little boy to teenager to adult man, I hear this a lot, and I never understood it. But now I understand why the certain hum- human being behavior that men and women do all the time, and it's been in in re- re- of the rehabilitated of of a uh, 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 bit artificial of the bible it says it right there of the text of the bible why women do the things they do why men do the things they do why men mess with different women why women mess with different men and why people have babies by different people and they ha- instead of having babies by the same people or instead of have a, a multiple partner they're supposed to have the same 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 apart same uh, share, sh- the same uh, the same uh, 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 shame they, they share the same partner. That means that they, they 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 committed one person and then commit a lot of them. It's sad, but that's how it is. This is why that people need to learn when it comes to relationship. You can, it, it, relationships are not that hard to get into. If you can get into from family relationship from friends. And even even if you can get if you can get into that, you can get into love one. But the most important things, if you try to find love, love yourself. If you can't love yourself, how you gonna expect everybody else to love you? I don't care what nobody said about me. They might not like me. Women might not like me. Fellas might not like me. But they will respect me just as much. I gotta respect them. Know me before you judge me. But I hope that y'all can learn about this video, man. People, man, get out of that that. Re- uh, relationship uh, uh, the relationship uh, uh, um, drama because nobody wants to be in drama because one thing once you get into drama you can't get out of the dispute out of the drama and and dispute it uh, 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 un reintended un- 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 of, of, of uh, an abusion of the drama because nobody wants to get into that it's not worth it at the end of the day nothing else and nothing else you and what you can say you can't say it anymore and that's all I can say about that. And it's your boy, Domination. This is back of the basic. Chuckle the deuces. How we do it. Takes it, baby. Until next time. All right. All right. Peace. And I'm out.